Hi, I'm Dr. Rhonda McDowell, and I'm a board-certified radiologist. So we're sitting in a reading room, which is a typical place that I, as a radiologist, would work every day. This is the place that, after the technologist takes the examinations, they show up for me to be able to work. This is a typical workstation with multiple monitors. Behind me is an example of an MRI examination of the brain of a patient that was having some symptoms. Um, we are able to look at each of these different sequences in order to help diagnose what is happening with the patient. The patient can help prepare for an MRI examination by wearing loose, comfortable clothing without metal fasteners or decorations and without wearing jewelry for the exam. Typically the results from our standpoint are to their physician's office in 24 to 48 hours um, and then depending on how long it takes their physician, it may take a day or two after that for them to get the results from their physician. Well, some of the things that are important to consider when a patient is choosing a facility in order to have an MRI is the experience of the physicians that are reading the exams. Um, all of the BayCare facilities have board certified radiologists. Uh, many of us are specialists in different areas, for instance, musculoskeletal or neuroradiology, which also is important for when the patient is having their test uh, interpreted. The other thing that's important is to know the quality of the equipment. Um, there are some places that have very low Tesla magnets that are perfectly fine for certain indications like perhaps a knee MRI, uh, but that when we are talking about a detailed brain MRI are completely inadequate and um, really the patient would do a disservice to themselves by having the exam done at, at facilities such as that. A good way for a patient to find out that information would be to call the imaging um, center directly, uh, ask what the um, Tesla is. For most indications, a 1.5 or larger, so 1.5 or 3 Tesla magnet would be adequate for what most indications would be. Um, and then also to ask if all of their physicians are board certified and if there are any of them that are specialists.